Hello friends. In this video I will show you how to make a dark opal resin set of dice. Of course in the first go around I managed to mess it up as is par for the course recently because of my impulsiveness and impatience. But don't worry, mother, I crave war. What is that? Oh, here comes my stubbornness galloping to the rescue as I try my tiny hand at this sacred craft again to prove that I may not have scored a critical hit, but I did some serious damage. Excuse the pink gloves. These are currently the only gloves I have. These are my dice molds from Wish. I've heard okay things about these, so I figured why not give them a shot. I don't have a little syringe thing, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Wow, these fit really well. I am surprised. Unless we can get a stream thin enough to go in there. What do you guys think? I'm going to go for it. Why the hell not? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we can always try again. All right, so I'm going to use this iridescent unicorn skin cellophane glitter. I'm aware that, like, if you put something heavy in there, like, it might affect the roll of the die. So we don't want that at all. We want an evenly weighted dice with lots and lots of shiny. I don't, I've never actually played D&D, &D, but I actually listen to a D&D &D podcast. My fiance plays some D&D, &D. I just never got around to joining their group. And hopefully I will soon, and maybe I'll get to use these die. What, how do you say that? I don't know. If you know, um, let me know in the comments. That'd be great. I'm putting a lot in there. Uh, why? I don't know. Someone requested moss filled, moss filled dice, which is like my thing. As many of you know, I love moss. Anything plant related, terrarium related. That's what got me into resin. And that's what keeps me sane these days. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. All right, I think I stuffed all of them. Now the fun part is to find which top goes on which mold. And I'm trying not to get these pieces in here, but some of these pieces just really want to stick to the sides. Can you not? I'm thinking for the color. I was initially thinking purple, but then I was like, green would be cool. Green's my favorite color. And then I was like, yeah, but like black would be cool too. Like a little dark magic dice. All right, this glitter is affecting, affecting the way this fits in here. And I'm not having it. Or, you know, you're just putting it on the wrong way. That could, that could be it as well. Which is precisely what I have done. Perfect. This could get messy. All right, now for the color. Maybe I'll go for a teal. So we'll do blue. One drop of blue and one drop of green. Oh, that was two drops of green. Oh yeah, that's pretty grass green right there. Drop another blue in there. Don't want it too dark. Still a little too green. So I'm gonna put another drop of blue. And I might muddy it up a little because you know how I feel about, about colors. Or maybe darken it? I think I'll darken it. Bloop. Just, just rolling, rolling hard. Dice land. Nope, I still want to... Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, that's a nice color. See how when it's not a straight color wheel deal, gives it a bit of dimension. So we diluted that a little bit. Just getting crazy over here. Yeah, I'm getting there for sure. Actually, that's nice, huh? Still want a little bit of blue. Maybe a little bit more red. It's thickening up, thickening up so that's not a good a good sign, but who knows? It might work. All right, so I'm gonna pour it into one of my... Yes, that's a nice color. <sighs> it's gonna be difficult. 
at this point, I just started filling them up. Um, I managed to get a thin stream for some of them, managing to get all the resin inside the mold. But for most of them, because there was no other air outlet, it just kind of sat on top of the hole and did nothing and spilled on the side of the mold. I would 100% recommend a syringe at this point. Uh, I tried to, you know, make it work, but it's really more of a hassle than it should be at this point. I said this would get messy and boy, was I right. Um, got these all filled up. I see some bubbles clinging to the walls so that might be an issue I can always fill them in hopefully uh, we'll see but I had some extra resin so filled up some other molds yeah not exactly um, the best pour I've had but we will see what happens um, so these cured a little early i guess because it's warmer it just cures much faster than it usually does these though whoa that's so cool oh man i should have put some black in those dice wow okay now i'm stoked on this iridescent glitter cellophane. Wish it was a little bit finer. I guess I could just chop it up myself. That's sick. Time to demold. Are they ready yet? I don't know. Already I'm seeing some bubblage. Ooh, these are pointy boys. These edges are super sharp. Um, the iridescent flakes look super cool. They kind of just sink to the bottom, which is surprising. I would have thought that they float. Just like a few bubbles on this one. Lots of bubbles on this one. <laughs> Pretty easy demold. As you can see, this one has a lot of mini bubbles. So not like super stoked about that. <laughs> Maybe I can do a little sanding on that side, but I'm assuming that would mess up the weight balance but yeah and again you can see only one side really has that iridescent cellophane in it oh this one's hard to demold <sighs> yes oh no the ones that were harder to fill up are the ones that got super bubbly ha <laughs> what well, sucks I like the color though I think the color is a win <laughs> birthing a child. Next round I'm gonna try and avoid this bubblage here as much as possible. Y'all I'm about to have some words with creatology. I'm going through this glitter and what I have noticed is that most of it is just clear and there's only a few specks of this iridescent unicorn skin type glitter and yeah, I'm not happy. <laughs> That's really dumb. I don't, I just, I just like shiny things. Know what I mean? Not a big girly girl, but man, shiny things are the best. I'm gonna try and get more of this stuff in here than last time. So it doesn't all just fall to the bottom. It kind of fills up the whole space. Hopefully one down, one zillion to go. I just grabbed a dropper that I had laying around, which is a pretty darn good alternative to a syringe. Um, 
and I just started filling them up and this was way easier than just trying to pour the resin inside the mold. As you can see, uh, the color that these currently are were not the same color that they were before. This is getting kind of annoying. Um, they're still cool, but you know, I'd like to know what color they're going to turn into. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to demold these extra. Oh my lord, look at that. You can see where like the clear pieces are embedded and I don't hate that. That kind of adds to like the fractured minerally look. I also had more, a little more resin left over so I went ahead and poured some bitty, little bitty earrings. Those are real fun. Again, I don't hate this purple. Kind of gives a nice contrast with the green iridescent foil. I think it's time for dice round two. No, <laughs> still running into bubble issue pretty annoying but that looks super cool giant bubble there giant bubble there giant bubble there I'm wondering if i can try and salvage that but i don't know without it i really don't want to get a pressure pot pressure pots scare me i don't have a big of a operation big enough operation to really go into that but I do love resin. Resin is my hobby. I could very well treat myself. Yes, filling these with the cello foil was the way to go. It looks like a black opal. I'm very into that look. So pretty. Maybe I can retry the ones with the most bubbles and give it another go because these are really really cool nonetheless we tried again and we are getting there we're not there yet but you know we'll get there someday i think the first thing i'm going to test out is filling up little surface bubbles on these dice and see how that helps or doesn't this piece. Probably fill that one up nice and quick. Wonder if you can hear me through this. Probably not. So I will say my goodbyes and do a voiceover. So this is kind of odd. My UV light is a little weaker than I would like it to be. It was super cheap, so I wasn't expecting anything crazy. But I put some of the dice out to cure in the sun with the UV resin on top, and they actually changed color. And as you can see, these two dice have changed into a deeper color just really weird stuff i think the pigment is reacting with the sunlight and it's it's just craziness i'm just using um some of my old acrylic paint So I decided to go in with a finer um, brush and really get in there because as you can see, it didn't really quite 
didn't really get a solid coat in there so really this is a lot easier it's less messy and easier to clean off this was fun I learned a lot um, maybe I'll make these professionally in the future of course I'm not gonna sell these but it was just for fun and I encourage you to do it as well and have your own little set of dice It has come to my attention that many of you witches and warlocks have not been using P P P P P P E while working with resin. Even if your resin doesn't say to use protection while working with it on the label, I would always side with caution and wear a respirator with a filter rated for fumes. Not only is it good for crafting, but will come handy in the end times, which are probably happening as we speak. So take care of yourself, your friends, your family, and your pet. Be safe.